How are you doing YouTube? Wanted to show you this one. A new uh, arrived with me yesterday. Denim My Carter Rough Rider Trapper. How pretty is that? That's got gotta be. It's a rough rider, it's basic, it's a budget knife, but fit and finish is amazing. Look at that denim my carter. I mean I'm I'm under 40. I prefer the my carter to the bone and the horn and the the thing that most people collect. And as a pattern, it's gotta be one of the best with the long nail nick match strike nail nicks it's going to be my steak knife you wouldn't be ashamed to take that out anyway would you it's got the uh they're not engraved i would say they're pressed the the bolsters slightly different to the picture when i bought it but the fit and finish is brilliant you can't feel any of the pins no gaps at the back it goes all the way around because both Blades are on the same side. Ultra shiny blade. A nice three inch clip point that's full size. I wanted a kind of toothpick blade to use as a steak knife. Everyone's always talking about it. And then you also get a spade blade, put fingerprints all over it. So I can castrate a bull and then eat it afterwards what more do you need but just look at that how pretty is that and the thing that amazes me most about this 20 quid 20 quid for a dual blade knife that looks that good in my carter even the box is nice nice magnetic magnetic box it comes with I think it was 21 quid the only the only downsides to this one i can see blade centering's not great it does touch the sides it doesn't touch the actual blade but i think it does touch maybe it doesn't looks like it does i can't feel it but they're not perfectly centered those blades and the spay blade it's perfectly sharp, perfectly paper sharp. I haven't got any paper to hand, but it, you know, it's, it's sharper than the 65 quid that knife that just arrived today. But on the, the clip point, the grind is not great. In fact, it kind of twists down the knife. It's not. It's not at the same angle all the way. I mean, that won't take me much. A bit on a whetstone. And that will uh, that will be solved. But I mean, I'm getting more and more into traditionals. But most of the ones that you see, they're all bone or horn. It's the same kind of, kind of looking knife that my granddad used to carry. I'm not 40 yet. You know, I like a bit of a... A modern touch. Get it to focus. On the traditionals. Like I say, I would, I'd be proud to bring that out anywhere. Go for a steak dinner. Go for a barbecue. It's the perfect knife, knife in your back pocket, I think. I just can't get over the value for money. 20 quid. All that work. That engineering. Lovely my Carter. For 20 quid. I know everyone's obsessed with, you know, Rough Rider is bottom of the, the pile. It's all about the case or GCs if you can afford them. But whatever you're into, and I know it has a couple of faults. But to me, that is one of the prettiest traditional knives I've seen. In fact, I'm going to get the, uh, the green micarta uh, sow belly. I think on the base back of that, it's about the same price. I think that's brilliant. And I tend to, to keep a traditional knife in my back pocket. Not, I won't keep this one in my back pocket, but I have a main, main blade with me most of the time as well. That's the kind of thing 
You're going somewhere smart? Perfect knife. Going for a barbecue? Perfect knife. And that's 440, I think. So it'll sharpen fine, sharpen really easy. It'll keep, keep its edge as long as you need it to keep. You don't need, you know, super high-end steel and traditional pocket knives, I don't think, anyway. Each to their own. But whatever your view, like Rough Riders or hate them, you've got to say, that is, that is a good buy for 20 quid. Let's give you an idea of uh, size comparison. That's the Swiss Army knife. I think that's the Evo 10. I've had it for years. I tend to keep in the back pocket. It's a bit bigger than that, obviously. The blade is bigger as well. Apologies for the dirty knife. And this uh, little uh, Rough Rider Whittler. I mean, I know, I know everyone's now obsessed with what the latest steel to have everything is, and you pay three times the money for slightly better steel. But to give you an idea, this I found this in the drawer today. This was given to me after my granddad died. It's a Humphreys. I don't know much about it. I gather if it's T. R. Humphreys, the guy that made them, died in about the 1930s. So perhaps someone can tell me more about that. But you know, that's what. My granddad's generation were carrying round. I think to be able to have something like that for the price, it's blown in. Anyway, take care.